everyone, Ocean from Loomtastic, and today we are going to be doing a duck, duck, a duct tape craft. It is this like double bow, um, and I really like this. It's super cool. Um, now I've only made this one, but it is a pretty easy process. And if you just want to make one bow because it is two bows just connected, um, it's a pretty self-explanatory thing. So. Let's get started on the supply. So, for the supplies, you're going to need some duct tape, of course. Some scissors or an X-Acto knife. Um, if you're not using it... Ooh, okay, let me screw this up a little bit. If you're not using a cutting board, I would suggest using scissors because it's just easier. But if you're using a cutting board, it's a lot easier to use an X-Acto knife. Um, you're going to need... A ruler or an exacto knife and to mark where you're going to be cutting you're going to need some type of writing tool like a sharpie or a pen um, that is all the supplies you will need so let's get started and if you would like to decorate your bow in any way with stickers rhinestones buttons anything like that or or if you would like to add a bobby pin to the back, um, you're going to need like a bobby pin or a clip, which I probably will be doing um, at the end of this tutorial. And just so you know, I will be using purple duct tape instead of silver duct tape. Okay, so we are actually going to get started. Let's get to the tutorial. So I'm taking my ruler and I'm going to make four eight inch strips. So you're going to do that by taking your duct tape, let me find the end, and cut it so it's straight. Um, here is a tip, I really, I'm not using cutting board, just so you know, but I, I always like to cut off, like to make it straight, because if you see my ends are really jagged, um, before I cut that, so now it's just super, you know, clean and cut. So you're going to take your duct tape. And make it, okay, that just twisted, <laughs> eight inches. And then I'm just going to take my Sharpie and mark where I need to cut. As you can see, um, at the inch mark, I just put a little, right, right there, that black dot. So I'm going to cut it, and that's my first piece, and you're going to need four more of these eight-inch strips, so we just did one together, so you're going to need to do three more, and when you're done with those, um, go ahead and unpause the video, and I will be right back. So I'm actually just starting out with two, but you will need four no matter what. But if you're just making one bow instead of the two, so if you're not making this one and you just want to make the half bow, you're just going to need two pieces. But this tu this tutorial is really for two bows with that one. But I'm going to show you how to do the first part of the bow. So you're going to take your first piece and lay it sticky side up. Then take your second piece and lay it as evenly as you can and smooth it out to get any air bubbles. And then you're going to cut off any excess, which I like using scissors because exacto knives do not work too well in this case. So there we go. And then. So there we go. It's all pretty straight. And now I have one piece. So what we're going to do is you're just going to set this aside and you're going to cut a piece of duct tape. My scissors are over here. Do, 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 do. And my duct tape is really raggedy again. So I'm going to just cut a small piece. And then cut it. So you have about uh, a two, three. Let's see. That's about a three and a half, I mean just a three inch piece. And what you're going to do, 
I'm just using my ruler for a setter, but you're going to set it like this. And then I'm just going to make this to connect them. I'm going to make four of them. Which will, there will be five, but just in case. So you can see my four lines there. And so that's like the things that we're going to use to cut. So I'm going to take this off my ruler. And cut on the lines. So... And my duct tape isn't cutting, so I'm just going to rip that. But you get the idea, so I'm going to cut all four of mine out, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have now cut my four strips, and they're just sitting on the side, and I'm going to take this weird piece of duct tape out of the way, and you're going to now take your um, purple strip, and you're going to take one of those strips and attach it to one side. I find this is just an easier step than I've seen most people do it. So you're going to take, so it's so it's like that, I'm going to show you this way. So you have a little bit of a sticky part right there. So you're going to fold this in like that. So it's about half and half. And then stick those two together so it's almost like a bracelet. So they're stuck together. That sounded weird. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now I'm taking another purple strip. And I'm just going to put this right here so I can show you guys. And you're going to take this and you're going to hold them and pinch like that. So it looks like this. And then you're going to take that purple strip. Ooh, this is the harder part. And just kind of stick it on there. Like that. So there we go. So now that it's all stuck together like that. So this is just how you make the one bow instead of the two bow. And they're really just connected together. So you need to repeat this step. Um, I'm going to do this off of camera so it's, um, you know, just so it's a little bit faster because this tutorial is already pretty long. But um, you're going to do the same exact process, nothing different. And then I'll be back to show you how to connect them. But if you just want your one bow, this is how it is. And you can now add your embellishments or anything. If you want to add like a bobby pin or rhinestones or stickers, buttons, anything like that. Or even draw stuff on it with a sharpie or a pen. So thanks for watching if you just watched for that. So I'm going to make my other bow so we can start on the second part of the tutorial. Move my camera a little bit there. So I finished both of my bows, and now is the time that we are going to start assembling our bow. So now you're going to need your two bows and your last two strips. And I'm just going to take my first one and my two bows. And we're going to take them and kind of squish them together. There we go. Let's see. It does take a minute to get these combined, right? So I got it about right... Oh, my hair's in the way. Sorry. So I got it combined about right there. And I'm taking my little piece and wrapping it around the first two in the front. And that doesn't work because obviously that just happens. So... When it's like this, you're going to take your other strip of tape and put it on the back to make sure those two connect. And there you go. So now you have your bow, and this is like what it looks like when you don't have any embellishments or anything on it. 
two. Now I have two of them. And I love them. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to add a bobby pin on to my purple one. So give me one second. So instead of, of doing a bobby pin, I'm just going to do a hair tie. And what you're going to need is, I'm actually going to do the silver bow too because it looks a little bit more uniform. But um, you're going to need another, a little bit bigger strip than you made for like your bow part right here. So that you can attach it to this. And you're not going to need any like hot glue or just glue for that matter. So you're going to take your rubber band and put it inside of it. So like this. So oh, there's hair or whatever. <laughs> but make sure you attach this to the back and not the front. So make sure you turn it over and you're going to take that and attach it. So it looks like that. No, my hair keeps getting in the way. So I have a bow hair tie, and I really like this. It's a super cute idea. And of course, and you did see, you can <laughs> you can do the same exact thing with just one bow. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys like this tutorial, and see you next time.